Hello YouTube and all the people subscribed to my channel. Um, this is a review video. This will be a first for me. A review video of what I found the other day at Walmart. I was grocery shopping and just happened to go in the toy aisle and it was a fresh stock of the E-Case. If you look at one of my prior videos, it's like 21 seconds long. You do see that I did find the Super in that. But we're going to go over what I got. Um, this is a pretty cool little casting, and everybody is going after this, the uh, Mars Rover car. This is pretty neat. There was only one of them hanging on the pegs. Um, I'm not sure how many was in the case, but I went back, uh, I think it was yesterday, uh, Sunday after work, because I was working day shift, and uh, I did find another one, so I got one for my boy. I usually pick up a spare casting for my son. He's eight years old and loves to collect. This is a recolor of the 2020 Ram Rebel. I like this in blue. The mud tires on, I'm, you know, on the fence about the mud casting tires on there. But uh, that is a really nice color on that. I mean, I liked it when they come, first come out. I think it was the red. I'm not sure. Uh, found one of these. This is a pretty cool little casting. 67 Camaro. I try and, that's one of my favorite cars. I try and grab up as many of those as I can. And I believe this is new for E-Case, but you can quote me if I'm wrong. Let me know if it's a carryover. This is a mystery machine. Last time I seen them put this out, it was a super treasure hunt, and I know it's been a while back ago. I went back uh, yesterday after work, and there just happened to be another one, so my son got one as well. I like that casting. And then recolor, because I know there's a black one and a red one, a 91 GMC Cyclone. I like it better in blue. Uh, I got a couple of these. I gave one to my son already. It looks like I have a slight paint error on that one. I just now noticed that looking through the, ca the camera. But one of these will get customized with a real writer. I do do a couple of these to where I put real writers on them. Uh, I will post that later. And then this is a new casting for 2021. I believe it's E-Case. It's the uh, Corvette CR8 race car. You know, I grabbed a couple of these. My son has one of these now. I think my son is pushing like 300 loose cars. <laughs> you know, it's kind of addicting. And this is a, another recolor. Or actually, it's clear plastic with... Uh, it looks like uh, pinstripes on it. When this first came out, it was Thomas the Train, I believe. But you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm pretty sure you guys will roast me. Loco motoring. You're free to you're free to put whatever you want in the comments. Uh, it really doesn't bother me. I'm not going to get mad at you. This one is new. I believe it's E case, or it may be a carryover from another case. I'm not sure yet. But the 21 Ford Bronco. This is a pretty cool casting. And yes, my son has this too because I grabbed more than one. And then this is a recolor. I believe these came out in 2020. The Jeep Gladiator. I like the color on that. That is a pretty color. And then this is new for 2021. I think this is a carryover from a C or D case. Because I believe I've seen some of these the same color in D case. This is a really, really neat casting. It looks like it's a drag race car because it looks like the exhaust is coming out behind that front tire and it looks like there are wheelie bars on it. That is a pretty cool casting and I like the color. I'd be interested to see if they do a recolor on that and what colors they use. And then this one's interesting. I don't normally get fantasy cars. I do for my son, but some of them I buy for myself. And this one is called the Cardi Asada. Taco car. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I ended up picking one up for myself and one for my son. 
My son absolutely loves it. He's like, hey, daddy, look, it's the taco car. <laughs> and there, this is another new model for 2021. I know I do red lines, and they actually did a uh, red line Mach 4, or Mark 4. And this is very similar to that, but this actually says 67 Ford GT40 Mark IV. So this is probably a more updated casting of what they did in the red line back in the 60s, late 60s, early 70s. This is actually a really nice car. I'll be really interested to see if they do recolors on this and what colors they decide. And then, yes... I did find a main line. I got a couple of them, one for me and one for my son, and I'll probably customize one of them. That is pretty cool. As you see in my prior video, yes, I did find the Super. And you can see Treasure Hunt logo, logo on the rear quarter, and the paint is a, like a metallic black. And you can see the Super Treasure Hunt logo right there, and the Real Rider tires actually have tread on them. That is a pretty cool casting. I'll pull them both up here to where you can see them both. And it's almost, they almost used the same black as they did on the Ford Galaxy last year. Because you can see that's just a gloss black, and then this is like a, a pearl or a metal flake black. Really neat. And of course you can see the Treasure Hunt logo and then no Treasure Hunt logo and you can tell the rims are different. Uh, that's pretty neat. And then uh, the employee actually had this and he handed it to me said he felt like they needed to be together. This is the Treasure Hunt for the E-Case. Skull Shaker. You can see it right here behind it. It's kind of hard to see. I'll move my finger a little bit. That is pretty cool. And then I did find out, uh, you guys want to pay attention to these because these are getting pretty common. This is a redo from last year, the Trail Boss camo. But the thing is with these, you got to pay real close attention to them. And I'll show you why, because when I was in there yesterday, I actually found an error. Now, if you look at these tampos, it's perfect on the one on the top, and if you look at the one on the bottom, you can see it is off considerably. So that is pretty cool. I like finding errors when I find them. I, the last error I found, it was the uh, Silver Jaguar, and the base was off on the rear. I mean, it was just like miss, not even aligned properly, and they ran it through the rivet machine. But, uh, yeah, this is from uh, my hunt Thursday and a couple of them from my hunt yesterday. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like, subscribe. If you know somebody else that'll like this video and watch this video and enjoy it, share it to them. Uh, you know, hopefully they subscribe to my channel too. Uh, comment if you like. Uh, I'm not, uh, if you roast me, I don't care. I'm, I'm learning about these things, too. I've been collecting for years, so I'm not going to get upset. You're going to teach me something. Teach me something. I don't care. Uh, just be nice about it in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a nice evening. Thank you.